Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my December TBR. So in November I had a pretty good reading month. I managed to read 17 books. I'm really hoping to keep the momentum going in December and get a lot read. I've kind of accepted that I don't think I'm going to meet all of the Pop Sugar 50 book challenges because I just have quite a few to get to. I just kind of left my run kind of late in the year and I'm not sure that I'll get to all the books um, to cover off those challenges because some of them are a bit bigger but here's hoping you never know. So yeah let's just jump in and I'll talk about the things that I hope to get to in December. First off we have the only three books that I didn't get to from my November TBR and they are the Hunger Games trilogy. I have actually already finished rereading Hunger Games already in December but I would like to still get to Catching Fire and Mockingjay um, I'm obviously rereading these to see Mockingjay Part 2. It has been out for a few weeks now, um, but I will go to see that with my mother and my sister. My sister has just um, had some surgery, so she's still recovering from that. I'm not sure when she'll be up to going to the cinemas, but we're definitely seeing it in cinemas. But obviously, as it's a popular movie, it'll be out in cinemas for a while, so I'm not too worried. But I have a little while to read these, but I'll probably pick up, pick up Catching Fire after the book that I'm currently reading, and then I'll maybe like slip another book in and then pick up Mockingjay, and then hopefully go see the movie after that. I'm really excited to see the movie, so I'm definitely going to be reading these this month. On to the book that I'm currently reading, and that is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. You may have seen on my channel, if you've been watching my videos, that I have been trying to read all of Jane Austen's books. Um, I have so far read Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Mansfield Park, and Emma, and I'm now reading Northanger Abbey. Um, this one is technically the first book that she wrote, but it was published um, after Jane Austen had actually died. So um, it's actually quite interesting because it does have quite a different um, kind of feel to it than some of her other books that I've read. But I am really enjoying this, and I'll definitely be finishing this in December. Next, I plan to pick up Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. As I mentioned when I hauled this book um, from the library, I am reading this to fulfill the challenge of reading a book that you were supposed to read in school but didn't. I did read this in school, but I didn't like it. So I'm planning to reread it and see if maybe on mature reflection I enjoy it a little bit more. So yes, I will be getting to this in December. I then have the fifth book in the Teen Power Inc. series, Beware the Gingerbread House. I actually don't remember this one kind of at all, so these aren't the covers that I read though, so maybe if it had a different cover I would remember it more, I'm not sure, but I'll be definitely getting to this one in December. Uh, apologies if the camera has just moved slightly, I just ran out of space in my memory card and I had to delete some old footage, so apologies if the angle has changed slightly. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I got cut off, but I was talking about Matilda by Roald Dahl. Um, this I picked up to fulfill the challenge of reading a book that was published the year you were born. This was published in 1988 and that is the year I was born so I'm really excited to pick this one up because um, I mentioned when I hauled this book Matilda is one of my all-time favorite movies and I'm really excited to reread this. Next I'm hoping to get to Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. This I picked up to read a book that is based on a true story. This is based on I can't I'm not sure if it's the first woman or the last woman it was the last woman who was executed in Northern Ireland. Um, I've heard really good things about this and it does sound like something I'll really enjoy so I'm really excited to get to this one as well. Next I'm hoping to pick up The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. This is a classic mystery story I believe or like a gothic, I mean, I'm not exactly sure but I've been excited to read this for a while. I picked this up to fulfill the challenge of reading a book that has a colour in the title, white being a colour. This I think is where I may stall in December. I don't know that I'll get through much more than this because this book is quite a chunker. It is a, it's, it's over 700 pages and the writing font is quite small. Um, I'm just not sure that I'll get much further than this in the month um, because this is um, quite dense but you never know so I'm hoping to get to this one in December. If I do make it all the way through The Woman in White I have four more books that I would really love to get to in December. They are Hot Six by Janet Ivanovich. This is the sixth book in the Stephanie Plum series which I've been reading. Um, this is just the next installment so I'm hoping to get to this. I'm also hoping to get to The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. This is one that I picked up to fulfill the challenge of reading a book by an author with your same initials. KS um, is my initials. Um, and I've heard good things about this, I believe. I've also I've heard some mixed things. This is set in a fantasy world, I believe, where women are really rare and so they are hunted um, for people like by men so that men can use them to breed, I think. So that is a really interesting concept to me. So I'm hoping to get to this one in December. I'm then hoping to get to Green for Danger 
by Emily Rodder. This is, I believe, the sixth book in the Teen Power Inc. series. So I'm hoping to get to this one. And then the final book that I'm hoping to get to in December, if I can, is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. This is the book that I picked up to fulfill the challenge of reading a memoir. Um, I really enjoy Tina Fey and I've heard some um, good things about this, so I'm hoping to pick this one up. So those are the books that I'm hoping to get to in December. I do think this is quite an ambitious TBR. Um, I don't think it's as many books as what I read last month, but some of these books are quite dense and I'm just not sure that I'll get through them all. But I am hopeful and if I like have a, some weekends where I don't have like too much going on, I can really just sit down and get some reading done. You never know. So um, yeah, I would love to know what you guys are planning to pick up in December. Um, not that I need anything else to add to my TBR list, but I love hearing what other people are reading and love hearing recommendations. Um, so if you liked this video, please like it. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys.